Okay, welcome everybody. Carl Schilling, founder and CEO of the Advocacy Network. I'm so glad to be with you here this afternoon. Thank you for uh, taking uh, your valuable time and uh, jumping in on this presentation. Uh, let me, I'll share with you real briefly and quickly, the Advocacy Network was created to eliminate all forms of financial victimization. Uh, and to date, we have saved the public over $10 million in that venture. Uh, we do this by creating awareness, providing financial literacy education, and at the end of this, uh, helping people become financially independent. And that's where you uh, are involved because our help with people to become financially independent is done through our financial concierge system. Now, that system is built to be a benefit to you to help you increase your sales, to help you build your practice, build your agencies, and not interfere with possibly where you do your business. We'll share with you, uh, again, we're not an IMO or FMO. We, we do uh, certain things and we share that with you at the end. Now, today, uh, it, it, this is a interactive video. So I want you to know that right over here, there's gonna be a little white paper document that's gonna tell you all about Financial Concierge University, everything we go over. And then uh, uh, up here, there'll be an email button. You can email me, just pop in on that button. Uh, over here on my left, you'll see a LinkedIn button, so you can uh, look me up, check me out on LinkedIn. Um, you can connect with me over there. And then on the far side here will be the really interesting piece is going to be a soft phone to which you can simply dial your number, area code plus number, and uh, call me on that phone. It'll direct connect to me. Once you dial in your own number, your phone will ring. When it rings, you'll be picking it up and uh, basically it'll be connecting to me or anybody who's using our platform. This is one of those tools that we have. So my, my uh, point today for you is to give you a test drive. I'm going to walk you through what we call transparency selling, a little uh, information and a lesson. It's like a coaching lesson. So you can determine the value of what we do. Will we make sense for you? Do you think that there's a lot here? Okay, so we want you to have that test drive. And if nothing else happens, if you choose not to join us, you choose not to become involved, you will have learned something and gotten some very important information for your selling process here today. Okay, so let me uh, uh, find us the um, uh, share screen and let's get going uh, with that presentation. Okay, so transparency selling. Let me take myself off the screen here. All right, so in uh, uh, our concept of transparency selling is pretty simple. We believe that you should be giving people what they want. And too often in our sales careers, we don't do that. Um, so, you know, I think uh, the sun has set a long time ago on the market as we know them. Uh, a lot of things have changed, especially the consumer. The consumer is, uh, I'm not gonna call it more educated or even more aware but the consumer is bombarded by white noise and they get a lot of information and some of that information is totally incorrect. Some of that information is on, on par, but it does change the way you have to deal with people because they have so much misinformation, misdirection, and, and are unaware of many, many things. So a new strategy is really, really important if we're going to be very successful in selling. So here we're gonna look at a sales cycle or process. Now understand, there is no one sales cycle for every salesperson, although every salesperson needs one sales process. So something specific to you, something that works for you, something that you're able to uh, repetitively do over and over, and also know how to change um, uh, gears when you need to, right? So you can shift the course. So let's look at the old school here was the old school model, which I, I, I was uh, grown into because I started in the early, early 80s uh, in the life insurance field myself. And, and certainly these were the factors that they were teaching, okay? Uh, AIDA stood for, you know, attention. Can you get someone's attention? Their interest came from uh, within that. Then hopefully they moved on to a desire for something and then you got them to take action. Now this was all reinforced and buttressed up by ABC which was always be closing. This is your primary, um, uh, what we would call uh, heavy persuasive uh, selling cycle, okay? This was all about persuasion. It had nothing to do with behavior. It had everything to do with technique and persuasion. But things have changed. So the new school that we really kind of uh, commit to 
is that you still need the prospect. You're always going to need to prospect. And we bring you a lot of very unique ways to prospect, one of which gets you paid to prospect. But then it's, it's the uniqueness of an approach. And in all the white noise, you have to separate yourself, differentiate yourself. And that's where the financial concierge comes in. You can differentiate yourself with an approach. Now, discovery is the whole Megillah. Discovery is the heart and soul and, and, and pumping blood of the uh, entire uh, sales cycle and process. In a good discovery, which we're going to go over here in a second, you make the whole entire thing happen. After that, you're going to present a solution, and then hopefully you're going to have somebody make a decision on that solution and a decision that works for them. So in our system here, in transparency selling, just one of the areas that we help train, coach, and deliver for you, we want you to consider becoming a professional order taker. Now, normally that sounds like a bad thing. You know, ooh, you know, order takers, those aren't great sales professionals. No, this is different. This is, you become such a wonderful sales professional that you actually become just an order taker. No persuasion. Everything's about influence. Everything's about the best concern and best interest of the person in front of you or the group in front of you. So this formula really comes down to something W. Clement Stone taught in his um, uh, uh, The Success System That Never Fails, a great book, and uh, basically recognize and relate. So, you, you know, you're helping people recognize uh, what they what they need to be aware of and then you're relating to them so that they feel comfortable in building a relationship You're helping people at that point assimilate take on these things and then apply them in their life So here's the deal selling is a process It's an overall process that requires your ability to understand human insight human behavior and most importantly relationship building just common sense relationship building, and that's all this career is. And it starts with your own personal detachment. The first thing you need to do is detach yourself from the process so that the process is about the person sitting across from you or the audience in front of you. But you're totally detached at this point because you are helping uh, uh, attach to them. So you are helping ride up their ego and you're helping warm up their ego and decreasing your own ego. So here's how this discovery process starts to work. It's about self-discovery, but it's not about your self-discovery. It's about the prospect's self-discovery, the future client's self-discovery, and the existing client's self-discovery. We want to help them start to understand and be aware of some of the things that they might not be aware of. Now, during this, if it's done right, their ego is increasing. You're making them feel better about themselves. You're making them feel uh, more comfortable. And ultimately, they are more trusting because you have dropped your own ego in this process. It's best interest centric. So you're able to tell a client, hey, I'm an advocate whose only concern is your best interest. And as a financial concierge, I help people become financially independent uh, and show them the best road to that. Are you interested? So you're always focused on giving people what they want. Now understand that when you start out, what people want is not automatically matched up with what they need. Sometimes there's a distinct conflict between what they want and what they need. But your focus is always has to be on what they want. It's a process to help them become aware possibly that what they want doesn't match up with what they need. But you can't tell them that. You have to make that assimilate. You have to have them kind of transfer into, aha, what they need is what they want. So this is what the discovery process is all about in that dual process. Your ego is decreasing. Your only concern is the best interest of the prospect or the client. And you, you understand that what others want always, always is uh, uh, something that's going to overcome what they need. Because what they want is always going to be their first priority. So that comes to matching up the need with the want. So here's the key. It's a fine dance. And your abilities, and we teach all of this, we coach all of this, but your abilities to match up what they want 
with what they need is a natural progression. And if it's done properly, you know, not ass backwards like it's done today, most people go in with a, with a predetermined need and then they try to persuade the person into the acceptance of that need. This is not what we're talking about. Finding what the person wants is what's the number one key in the discovery process. Too many presentations today are built to simply go in and sell a predetermined solution to some already assumed need. I take mortgage insurance, final expense insurance, many different lines of insurance that make this assumption. And then they try to go in and hammer the need like a square peg into a round hole. This is why so many sales are not made, so many sales are missed. This is why we don't have 90 and 100% closing ratios. If this is done properly, it's almost impossible not to close. This is almost a can't miss kind of scenario if you do it right, okay? Because we never ever can create a need. A need exists. The issue is does the person recognize the need and does the person have enough motivation? Are they feeling enough pain for that need to be solved? Do they want to solve that need? So if we go after what they want, we ultimately can always give them what they need because you can't create a successful relationship by trying to force what a person needs and trying to change their mind. Even Confucius had it right when he said, you know, a man, um, uh, a man persuaded against his will is of the same opinion still. So you can't persuade people against their will. They will find a way to get rid of you nicely, comfortably, but they'll get rid of you. So everything we do is within clear transparency. I won't go too much into this, but we are able to show people the real value and power of full disclosure. This is why we've saved the public over $10 million in areas where they would have lost to financial victimization, scams, fraud, predatory sales tactics, because we have done the proper due diligence. We've showed them through continuous contact why something makes sense and why it doesn't, okay? And you have this powerful third-party endorsement of the advocacy network. Look, we've saved people over $10 million, so we're a fairly powerful uh, uh, endorsement when we're able to say, you know, our financial concierge is a fully trained, uh, developed, and come from us. Our, um, our strategic alliances are, have all been vetted, and they're all part of the advocacy network, and we would never put a client or anybody in jeopardy. So we would never put anything in front of somebody that wasn't fully vetted. All the due diligence done by us. Okay. Now the hierarchy of needs is fairly uh, simple when you get this right. First, the initial, the need that you have when you go in to sit down with a client or even a group, as I said, make group presentations is what your prospect or client wants. That's the highlight. That's the focus. That's the, that is the number one priority. Okay. Now what you want should be to give your prospect or client what they want. It shouldn't be for you to persuade and force them into something that initially they don't want. So finding what they want and then helping them attach that onto a specific type of need where they become aware of the need and, and slowly but surely they assimilate and determine that they want to solve the need is the key to making more sales. Now you also have to understand many, many times what your company or service provider wants is not the same thing. Too often, they're not concerned with what the prospect or the client wants. They're only concerned with selling what they want sold. And many times they predetermine that by assuming a need or telling or teaching or coaching salespeople into somehow creating the need and then solving it. It's ass backwards. The need will always be there. What you've got to create is the awareness and the desire to solve it in the format of what they want, not what they need. So the steps in the process are pretty uh, uh, considerate. They're pretty simple. Discovery is the heart and soul of the whole thing. Discovery should support human behavior, which we have many, many parts of this lesson in transparency selling on different human behaviors. It should reinforce natural laws, laws of cause and effect, laws of uh, reaping and sowing and, and such, okay? 
and uh, then you got a recommendation. So if you follow through discovery, you do it right, your recommendation and your solution uh, just is a nice smooth transition, okay? So when this is done properly, steps four and five are just simply a, uh, a process of finalizing the uh, contract, finishing out the uh, how you're gonna pay for it, signing some papers and getting the thing going, okay? Uh, and that is a smooth transition. Doesn't require any techniques, doesn't require any tricks, any manipulations, it doesn't require any of it because if you did the discovery right, you will have a person basically ready and wanting something and not uh, having to uh, feel forced into something. Okay, this is why I say you can be a professional order taker. Okay, so now let me share with you outside the realm of that. Hopefully that little lesson will give you a few tips. It's enough for you to change the way you do some selling right now. Uh, obviously, uh, transparency selling is a much deeper course we teach, and, and all of our financial concierges have it available, but we go into much more depth. But that there is enough, I think, to give you a few tips and a few keys psychologically and behaviorally on how to change some things and make more sales. Now, as far as our advocacy selling platform goes, here is what's involved for you as a financial concierge. And by the way, everything we do is to help you grow your sales, all right, or grow your agency. You are my client. No one else is my client. You are my client. And as such, we want to help you with human self-development, not just your own, but your ability to help clients and prospects with human self-development. That's important. Nobody seems to match that up. We've got a, a ton of marketing and communication development that we provide for you. We give to you. We have all kinds of content and libraries, and we have the ability for you to create email campaigns, social media campaigns, uh, blogging, anything. All you got to do is um, uh, copy and paste. If you know how to copy and paste, we have all the content for you. You don't need to sit around and write. You don't got to spend hours. You just have to follow a few little uh, processes, and you can be all over social media and where you want to be. And your marketing and your communication development, we're giving you a different process in order for you to sell a different approach. You are not approaching people in a way that people shut you down or people don't want to talk with you. You're able to approach people through financial literacy education. You're able to approach them without discussing life insurance. You're able to approach them in a manner and a way that's, uh, that suggests that all you are there for is to help them become financially independent and that uh, so few do, but with the right guide and with the right uh, facilitation, everybody can become financially independent. And that's basically what you're saying to anybody. So comes the sales training and coaching development and all of that is inclusive in our platform. So what's in it for you? What do you get? All right, here's your game. First of all, the financial transformation is a digital course which we reinforce the financial concierge. We talk about all kinds of uh, issues. It's eight modules uh, with eight lessons in each module. It's $397. Uh, you already, you have that yourself. We're giving that to you, but this is something you can sell to prospects. This is something you can use in social media. You have an affiliate link. This is some way for you to get paid to prospect. Okay. Financial Concierge University is $497 a year. That's an annual type of payment and we'll show you that value. So you get that kind of value from us. The virtual office is the only virtual office in the industry. It's a 3D, totally virtual world where you can um, have presentations, make sales, you can communicate with people, you can do sales training and development, you can do big meetings, you could have thousands of people in an auditorium, you could speak to smaller groups in small boardrooms, you could have little classrooms, you could do whatever you want to do in this virtual world, okay? It's an incredible uh, virtual opportunity. That value would be $365 a year. The video marketing platform, which you're experiencing part of right here, when I get done with this and I send it to you, you'll see all the little tools that make up the video marketing platform. You could use videos like this to make sales, actual sales, not even have to be face-to-face -face or anything with anybody. Just uh, you know, speak to them via the video, show them how to fill out the paperwork, have them download the paperwork, whatever it is you do, you can have them call you directly from the video, it's a tremendous tool. That's $250 a year, okay? 
We do mastermind groups uh, embedded so people can choose and select if they want to be in a mastermind group. Usually that would be worth $300 a quarter. That's $1,200 a year. The content library I mentioned earlier for marketing and for different campaigns uh, easily is a $450 value. I've sold it for more in the past. I sold it for as much as $950. But the content library comes with a lot of great stuff, not just the things that we've written and produced, but also some of the greatest books ever written by some of the greatest success people. Uh, all of those are inside the library as well. All kinds of white papers, all kinds of things you can use to gain interest from uh, people and show people that you are uh, truly their best interest is your only concern and how you are educating them right up front before they even make commitments to you. So that value on a singular basis for one year in the first year is, 300, is, three, is over $3,000, $3,159. And then each and every year ongoing with the things that are annual, it's $2,400 ongoing. So that is the value that you are receiving, okay? Uh, financial concierge, you're getting the content, you're getting the sales support, many things we haven't even mentioned. Financial transformation helps to pay you to get prospect, uh, pay you to prospect. It uh, reinforces the positioning of a financial concierge, which is you yourself. And then you get exclusive tools, which are the virtual office and the video marketing. Now, you can use as much or as little of this as you want. You don't have to use it all by any means. It, take it in a, in a form that it's a dashboard and a tool belt of things that you can pick and choose and use as you go along, okay? Now, we're there to support you, help you, and, and show you how to maximize all of these tools. But again, as little or as much as you want to do. And this is all that we ask from you, okay? So what's in it for us, the Advocacy Network? Here is what we do. We ask for $350 tuition one time. That's an upfront tuition that you pay one time. You could pay it monthly, we got a way to pay it monthly, or you could pay it annually, one time only. Now, if you wanna keep the ongoing $2,400 worth of value each and every year and not have to pay for it, you need to just do $10,000 in annual premium with one or two of our carriers, You know, meaning split. We only have two carriers. They are all A, A, uh, A carriers. They are all very solid, well-known carriers. And basically, you can still do all your business with whatever FMO, IMO, wherever you're doing your business. All we ask for from you is a minimum $10,000 in annual premium. If you find us to be uh, more, uh, more attractive and you want to do more business with us, then we have ways to scale up on, uh, on, on your uh, bonuses and commissions and things of that nature. But that's it. $350 one time and $10,000 annual premium commitment gets you all the tools, all of the platform, the virtual office, the video, okay? You receive training, coaching, virtual office, video marketing platform, content-rich library, sales processes, all kinds of sales concepts, and mentorship. I didn't mention that at all yet, but our executive team has, including myself, has over 200 plus years in this industry. This is not home office type experience. This is field-related, hardcore selling experience. In that time combined, we have sold over $150 million in annual premium, life premium. And we have sold over $350 million in annual annuity premium. So we can mentor and help agents. Last year, I helped with over 32 cases myself with different agents via Zoom, uh, occasionally a live, uh, a live meeting. Most of them were not uh, in the virtual office and over Zoom. I helped agents sell over 32 cases and uh, they all did quite well. There was all, uh, there was all um, uh, improvement over the case they originally designed or the case they originally were showing the client. Every one of them was improved. Every one of them was a better deal. And every one of them was a uh, very, very strong relationship for them. Okay, so... We give that kind of support ongoing, and we make sure that uh, you have that support. So if you're going to get started today, you can call me, and, and we can discuss how to tailor it to you. Uh, or, you know, um, I can email you a link, but this video will have in it uh, content, and it'll have an opportunity and areas for you to basically get started with this, okay? So this video, in and of itself, will give you every opportunity 
to either call me. You can call me direct, you know, uh, right over here when the phone shows up um, here late in the video. You can uh, email me up over here. You can download the white paper, which has links and areas where you can immediately go and get signed up and started. And uh, we, we start out real simply, um, $350 for uh, well over a uh, $3,000 value in year one and $2,400 worth of value every single year ongoing. Uh, and all you have to do at that point is give us $10,000 in annual premium. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity. We've helped the uh, agents double, triple, and sometimes quadruple their production. Uh, it's something I don't think you should miss out on. Um, as the old expression goes, what the hell do you have to lose uh, in comparison? Now, the, uh, there are some other tools that we have. We do have a lead generation where we can set you up with a call center room. We have uh, numerous call center rooms that we've done business with now that we've given third-party endorsements to and we're able to set you up with very reasonable lead costs. As you know, I'm not a big lead uh, uh, driving component. Um, I'm not really uh, uh, big on some of the uh, lead generation industry, and I, uh, you know, I wrote a book, You Might Be Getting Scammed When, and we see a lot of uh, agents fall victim to uh, a lot of, um, like I like to call it, magic silver bullet programs. However, that being said, I know agents uh, rely and want leads, and we can provide that for you at a very cost effective. We make no money on the deal. It's not a profit center whatsoever. I set you up with a call center. Uh, I have helped make those contracts. We help with the scripting. We help with everything you need, okay? Uh, and uh, those call centers all will waive your registration fee if you're with us. We still have those call centers available for you if you choose not to be with us. You, but uh, in that case, you will pay a registration fee, a setup fee. Okay. So again, Carl Schilling, uh, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure. Uh, we'll have a video taped version of this, so we'll uh, send it out again. Um, and I look forward to uh, having you join us uh, here at the Advocacy Network and becoming a financial concierge. You know, let's go forward and help as many people as we can become financially independent because the more people we help become financially independent, the more we gain financial independence. And that's truly what it's all about. It is that simple. Relationships, relationships, relationships. Okay, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. I look forward to speaking with you soon and joining our team. Let's get going.